Well guys, I recorded this entire review and then realized it was all in slow-mo. So take two, here we go. We all know that Hollywood likes their remakes, so whenever the new remake comes out, I usually go back and watch the original. So today I'll be reviewing the original Papillon, released in 1973, directed by Franklin J. Schaffner. Steve McQueen plays the main character, Papillon, and Dustin Hoffman plays a sidekick-type character, Louis Dega. The two men are prisoners, and the movie starts off with them being transported from France to an island off of French Guiana, to be held in an inescapable prison. Louis Dega was a stockbroker, so Papillon decides to make a deal with him early on in the movie. Uh, he'll protect him from the other prisoners in return for large sums of money. And the deal turns more into a friendship as the film progresses. Papillon is actually innocent of his convicted crime of murder, so he is determined to escape the prison and regain his freedom that was wrongfully taken from him. It's a pretty exciting movie watching Papillon just continuously try and try and try again to escape various different ways. The acting is very good. I do wish they had more of like a French accent though since they are playing French characters. The setting is also very fascinating. How often do we get to see a, a prison island in an exotic location like French Guiana? This is based on a true story but there were several times in the movie I had to keep reminding myself of that. Uh, just a lot of the things that happen to the characters would be something that would come out of like a fiction novel like um, visiting an island full of lepers, or being chased through a jungle by hunters with blow darts. When they reach the prison island at the beginning of the movie, they are told if they try to escape, it's two years in solitary confinement. Again, five years. Again, something much worse. It's no secret that Poppy, as the characters nickname him, gets solitary confinement uh, after trying to escape the island. And that was one part of the movie that just seemed so unreal to me, simply because of how horrible it was would have been. I couldn't imagine being in solitary confinement for weeks, let alone years. Louis Dega has a very memorable quote. He says, A temptation resisted is a true measure of character. While in solitary confinement, Poppy kind of starts to lose it. He sees a vision of himself on a desert uh, put, being put on trial by like a judge and a jury. Um, the judge says that he's guilty, not of murder, but of living a meaningless life. To which he replies that he is guilty. That happens pretty early on in the movie, and I was hoping we'd get to see more visions or flashbacks or something like that that would give us more insight onto his character, but that never happens. We don't ever really get a chance to see why his character is so strong and continues to resist hopelessness and the French prison system, and why he continues to try to escape over and over again. The little we saw was good, but we definitely could have used more. There were also a lot of plot points that didn't make sense, like just how a character got from point A to point B. Um, they easily could have been shown or even explained in one line of dialogue, but they're just kind of glossed over. My biggest problem though was the ending. After watching Poppy try to escape countless times, we don't even really get to see what happens to him at the end. We're just given one line of dialogue from the narrator with little to no details at all. Even though the movie is already long, it could have benefited from another 5-10 to 10 minutes just kind of showing what happened to him. It would have left the audience feeling much more satisfied. I'm going to give this movie a 7.5 out of 10. Even though there are some story issues, it's still a very exciting movie to watch, and you'll usually never expect what's going to happen next. Well guys, I hope you decide to check out this movie. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you for my next review.